Hey, if you've ever struggled with cell phone reception on your remote property or otherwise, this episode is for you. But before we get into the subject matter, I just want to thank you very genuinely and from the heart for being part of this journey here at 82 Maple. You know, we're now publishing video number 48. I didn't see that coming when I published the first YouTube video, but being we're here, it's just a great opportunity for me to express gratitude. Let me start with Dave Boyd and his Norwood sawmill videos. I can honestly say I'd have not have survived my Norwood experience without Dave and his wisdom. And it was the Norwood experience that planted all the seeds for everything else that followed. Then there's the Bradleys of Catbird Hill with their amazing product demonstrations and reviews and a great can-do attitude. Peter and Hillary Larson of Just a Few Acres Farm. Hey, I've pasted in some links to uh, these folks' uh, YouTube videos below. Then, two of my seven children, sons Rick and Jordan, they both have a significant YouTube presence and said, Dad, do this for yourself, for your grandchildren, and for your kids. It'll be awesome to chronicle the journey. And I don't want to miss daughter Kelsey Lake, who has a solid presence. All of them lent their expertise to Coral and me for this channel. I pasted in links below again. But there's more. My videos are so-so in terms of production quality. That's on a good day. But if you've read Al Dredsky's or Karen Sams Caldwell's comments to some of the videos, you'd think I was a superstar. Those comments, along with all of your comments and questions, are the real power and fuel that keep the next episode and the one after that and the one after that rolling along. Without your energy, this channel is just one man whispering into the wind. You know, your journeying with Coral and me just means the world. It's the fuel for what we're doing here. And again, just a huge thank you. Now, let's jump in. Hey, Howard, you're at 82 Maple. And thank you for letting me take a couple minutes of your time to pay tribute to some of the folks that have inspired this channel and that continue to provide personal and uh, professional inspiration on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I just got off uh, the phone with the local cellular provider. Out where we are at 82 Maple, we're 100% reliant on cell phone. So every video that you see was uh, downloaded, edited, and uploaded on a cellular connection. Now, having said that, it's a fairly robust cell phone connection in that I get one terabyte, that would be 1000 gigabytes of space each and every month. And my wife Coral gets the same. So we're in good shape from that perspective and it's at a flat rate, that's it, use it or lose it. Uh, but uh, the cell signal has been just brutal. We've installed uh, cell phone uh, signal boosters on both Coral's SUV and my one ton. And uh, on Friday, I was talking to one of the trades that's working diligently on the reno. We had some reasonably important uh, fine points to discuss and the call dropped something like six times. All of the momentum goes out when that happens. So, hey, we're about solutions. So let me just pivot this around. You're going to see the little guest suite that Coral and I are inhabiting during the renovations is in a bit of dishevelment. That's the best way to put it. That's because Coral's been gone for three or four days to visit family and I haven't tidied a lot of stuff up. And we had a wonderful neighbor that brought these over just to be neighborly and a whole lot more. I'm gonna quickly throw in some snapshots of uh, what dinner prepped and dinner looked like last night. And uh, before we jump into what I've got laid out here and why, I'm just gonna quickly pan over because you're gonna wonder what in the world's going on there with all of those greeting cards. Well, hey, August is Coral's birthday month. No, Coral doesn't have a birthday. She has a birthday month. 
it's something I started, I don't know, 20 years ago when we first got together. And once you start something, hey, <laughs> the expectations go up a little bit every year. Every guy that's tuned into this video knows exactly what I'm talking about. So it, let's just keep it our little secret. But uh, Coral has multiple recognitions of her during her month of birth. And you know what? She deserves it. So here we are. Back to the subject matter. Uh, do these things work? Well, you're going to journey with me and we'll make the determination. I've got the instructions laid out. I didn't want to bore you with the unboxing. Uh, we know what unboxing looks like. We've known that. If you've opened Christmas presents since you're a kid, it's always a surprise party. So we have an antenna. We have an antenna connector cable. We have more cable if we need it. We have something to come through the window here. You know what I like about this package? Everything is labeled. No guessing. A looks like this. B looks like this. No, they actually put a label on it. Uh, first rate uh, uh, job by the folks that appears at WeBoost. I don't get paid for any of this. I don't monetize my channel at least at this point. Um, and I have no aspirations to at this point, that's for sure. So then we have all of this. We come in the window. We have the actual booster device. There's a little power supply. There's, you know, the usual. Um, we've got some bits and pieces here. This is to attach cables that run along the wall. See what I mean? Clearly labeled. Cable clamps. No guessing. Then we have to wake our way from said booster device to the actual indoor antenna, uh, which is going to give us the support that we need. Along the way, we have to mount things, potentially, like the booster device instead of just sitting it on a shelf. Well, they've got a handy dandy little mount here. Screw it to the wall, screw it to the wall. Uh, slip that on, nice and easy. I've checked for fit and finish. It's immaculate. Ditto over here. Screw it to the wall or like that or like that and nice and easy. There we go. Uh, if you don't feel like screwing it to the wall, there's a nifty little retractable stand here. I know that sounds like it's going to break, but it doesn't. I've moved it back and forth several times so you can set it on the shelf and deflect it off the ceiling or not. And uh, there we go. It doesn't get much simpler than that. And if you don't feel like screwing things to your walls, well, we've got a bunch of double-sided sticky tape here. Um, the other important thing, and I just threw a highlight on this, we're going to dig out the Open Signal app. It's something I've used for a while. Incidentally, I love it. If you want all the detail, read the encyclopedia. If you want to just know what really needs to be done, one panel, two panel, three panels, nothing on the back. Six easy steps to success. Hey, I hope that uh, this performs as advertised. It certainly did in our vehicles. Uh, we shuttle back and forth from British Columbia's lower mainland to uh, Kelowna and over the Coquihalla Pass. There were literally hours of dead zones, not that many hours, two and a half hours of dead zone, uh, give or take, uh, but uh, the uh, cell phone boosters in our vehicles pulled that down to minutes, not hours. So again, ignoring the mess and uh, well, I'm not hiding anything, but uh, so there's my compact little office. That's life uh, in the guest suite. Uh, we're going to head out the doors. Here's where we relax in evenings and uh, print documents. Fortunately, Coral and I are absolute best friends. And so 600 square feet is not too small for us. In fact, it's multiples of what we enjoy when we're outdoor backpacking and uh, occupying literally an eight foot by four foot space inside of a very small pup tent uh, through uh, uh, snow, rain, sleet, hail, 
or baking heat. Uh, pick one of the above. There's always one of those present. Uh, I'm just going to uh, uh, zero in on one little pre um, take a look at what's in the box part of the video and that is I jumped the gun uh, because I wanted to demonstrate this key component uh, we have to have a mount for that antenna and I'll give you uh, I'll insert a photo here of what it looks like with the actual antenna blade installed you'll have seen that white blade that was sitting on the table and so what I want is a total uh, adjustability is that a word total flexibility in how I mount this and so what I did is I had a little piece of iron pipe and some attachments left over from another job including a wall mount bracket a 90 degree elbow a six inch piece of pipe and a cap and that works perfectly because uh, this thread allows me to adjust infinitely almost that direction and this mount I'm not going to turn it on the pipe right now because I've got it perfectly aligned I used that little app that I just referenced uh, that I'd highlighted in the booklet and I laid my iPhone right here like so with that app open and that app which is not up on screen right now has an arrow that pointed exactly in the direction that I've got this positioned at this moment so uh, I'm gonna put this thing together and uh, I'll report out on how it goes I mean, I've got a number of phone calls to make today and uh, let's see if this cures the dropped call syndrome uh, there are as a specific note in the manual that is consistent with everything I've heard about this type of uh, installation and that is that the number of bars on the cell phone or the download upload speed if you use speedtest.net or any of those programs is not an indicator of the resultant signal strength boost the real indicator is are we dropping calls or as happened this past Friday afternoon, am I only getting every third word coming through? Uh, let's see how this goes. Wish me luck. We're hoping to solve this issue. Talk soon. Okay, so the install is done and you see an AirPod in my ear because I just made a test call to Coral Dawn, who is down in Oregon, hanging with her sisters. And wow, the reception was vastly improved. So just before we move forward, a note on that, that again, I think I mentioned this before, but the manual says, don't look for the bars on the cell phone reception to increase, to move from two bars to four bars or anything like that. That's from the cell phone tower. And so uh, the measure of whether this system works is is the reception better and again we've been really struggling here and uh, depending on day depending on cloud cover there's a whole bunch of things that influence it and that's a whole nother subject that i'm not going to get into but um uh it'll go from being okay where we live to hearing every third word so let's go through what just took place and uh here I'd shown you the mount before, and if there's anything that the folks at WeBoost provide, it is tons and tons of cable. I'm going to figure out a way to shorten the surplus, but again, we're starting at the very beginning. This thing is pointed directly at the cell tower, and we go do doot do doot do doot and we follow the bouncing ball, and there's a really ugly piece of white cord going along there, which we're going to paint and mask as best we can. But you know what? As much as we're into great aesthetics, at the end of the day, we got to live here. 
Uh, so now we're going to go inside and we'll see what took place, follow the journey. We're going through the side guest entrance door. One day there's going to be a beautiful hot tub just out through there, but that's still to come and that's definitely not a five minute job. So the folks provided a really nice piece of flat cable and there I went. I just went and shut the window and it fits perfectly. I rooted it in through there. Then we go upstairs and I mounted the actual booster box on the wall. I had rooted the power cable down through the cupboard to a power supply there. It, uh, and then this, uh, the actual signal distributor has to be, according to the manual, 61 centimeters away from that, which in most North American speak is 24 inches. That 61 centimeters sounds very precise, doesn't it? Uh, but uh, hey, oh, just going down a rabbit hole for a minute. Those vases up there, yeah. Well, it's the month after Coral's birthday month right now. And so two of those three are going to be filled with flowers when she comes home on Wednesday. Uh, here's the tools we used. So, um, a marker and some green tape, which we had seen out there as I aimed the mount, uh, cutting zap ties, some pliers, which I used up and the hacksaw and a round file and a square file, which I used to get that cable through right there. Okay, come back with me to the guest suite. And uh, I needed a 5 8 inch bit to get the coax cable through the side of the cabinet, a 3 quarter inch uh, spade bit to get the power cable up through the cabinets. Needed a Phillips screwdriver or so I thought, thinking I was gonna have to put in some wall anchors, didn't need them. Instead, was able to get by with some two inch uh, number 10 Robertson screws. The nice folks at WeBoost provided more than an adequate number of uh, cable mounts. Better to have more than less, and they were generous. Uh, a little male uh, or female to female adapter. They had an extra one in there, some Velcro for cord control. I just used a number of these guys to control the cords up on top of the cabinets as you've seen. And then I used some white zap straps outside, didn't need the black zap straps. Uh, a driver and a drill. And uh, one of the most useful tools of all, that little Milwaukee portable vacuum cleaner. Uh, it makes a heck of a mess just punching three holes into the cabinets over there, bottom, top, and side. And man, if you don't have one of these in your uh, bag of tricks, you know what? Put it on the Christmas list, put it on the birthday list, put it on the Father's or Mother's Day list, whatever the list. And a stud finder, which helped uh, save me from using these guys. Uh, the rest is empty packaging. That stuff is all gone now. And uh, when I was out in the shop, just foraging for the tools that I would need, I came across the original vehicle cell signal booster kit that um, the units came from for Coral's SUV and my one ton. And they worked marvelously, which is what encouraged me to go back to WeBoost for a home cell signal booster. And I'm not disappointed. If I am, I'll let you know. You can check the comments below if at any point in the future, my expectations uh, dip below what's actually being delivered. Believe me, 
I'll be the very first to tell you. And uh, the instructions were terrific. Uh, the abbreviated three panel instruction um, folder was more than what I required. So here we go. And uh, just don't operate under the illusion like I always do optimistically thinking five minute, 15 minute, 45 minute job. This involved fully probably three hours for me. And uh, if it works, it's worth it. And it seems to be working. Uh, there we go. And uh, we didn't endanger any of the uh, eight fingers and two thumbs here.